here with a special edition of Spoopy Campus Update. Tis the season for pumpkins and ghouls, so you better put that candy cane away. I'm looking at you, Eric. To kick off our spoopy spirit, here's ASB with a scoop on this year's Halloween movie night. Spoopy! Hey, Oilers. Movie night is going to be on October 30th, which is a Friday night in the HBHS Amphitheater. We're going to be featuring the film The Last Exorcism, and it's going to start at 7 p.m. We will have Krispy Kreme, popcorn, and hot chocolate served, so make sure to bring a chair and some blankets and some warm clothes and come out to movie night. Much thanks, dearie. Much thanks. You all better listen to me when I tell you that I can see the future, because I can see that this will definitely be one spoopy night you don't want to miss. For even more spoopiness, here's the spoopiest sports team of them all, golf. We practice several times a week. It's not all just about hitting far. It's all about accuracy, and there's no just one set swing. I've been playing for several years, but it wasn't until I joined the Huntington Beach High School golf team that I really started to improve my skills. I've become a lot more competitive, and my confidence has definitely shot up. Further spoopy news, the Improv Club has a show coming up this week. Here's more details with this week's club spotlight. Okay. Improv Club is a fun club where anyone can come, and we just do improv games and learn how to do improv scenes, and just have fun doing improv. Improv is basically like non-scripted theater and it's just scenes and you're working how to like bounce off of other people and work with other people. Improv Club meets Mondays and Wednesdays at 5.30 and 6.30 either in T1 or the Amphitheater. Our upcoming show is on October 30th in the Black Box. Tickets are only $5 and they're at the door. From this show you can expect a lot of laughs and a lot of audience participation as well. If you're in the audience, you probably have the chance of getting called out for doing something improv -y. And It's a lot of fun. It's only an hour long, so you should come. Exciting stuff! Congrats to all the APA people who made that show possible. But what does APA do when they're low on cash? Those fancy point shoes don't grow on trees. That's right, fundraisers like the upcoming Trash Bag Fashion Show. Boopay! Our theme this year for the Trash Bag Fashion Show is Broadway. So all of the dances are going to be based on Broadway shows. Every dance ensemble and technique class will be participating. The fundraiser basically um, is what gives us the ability to have all the costumes made, props, everything for our productions. Uh, the Trash Bag Fashion Show is always lots of fun. It's outdoors, so it's not like a normal show. Um, there's a big raffle, too, so that's a lot of fun for people. And honestly, the dancers work really hard, and it's just a big, fun production. Now, real talk, darlings. There's a little bit of a monster inside us all, and it's called your stomach, especially when it's empty. Fear not, for we at Campus Update have a solution for you in this week's Spoopy Bites. Here are the juicy details. Wait, what? We all heard about Starbucks, but local cafes should be given a chance too. Since Day Cafe is a friendly small coffee shop located not too far from downtown, as the decor and patio seating may and pie, they're very welcoming towards dogs, so feel free to stroll down with your pup. With drinks brewed to perfection only local coffee shops can do, and top knot sandwiches created right in front of your eyes, since Day Cafe even has the great friendly service that reels you back every time. To top it off, there's free Wi-Fi in a nice little area in the back where you can read and relax, or even participate in their book exchange. The cafe is located in the corner of 11th and Orange. Make sure to head down there, Oilers, and give your dog a bacon or two while you're at it. Isn't this season just grand? But unfortunately, that's all we have for this episode of Spoopy Update. I'm Rosella Giuliano going back to the Twilight Zone. And remember, darling. <laughs> Whatever that means.